You know, this is where we came in, Kasha. There's a door here, though. Master lock? No problem. I have a feeling we are going to come across more of these things. I can definitely hear one. Possibly more than one, actually. Now I'm paying a little more attention. So paralyzed him. Missed again. Seriously, game, how is that a miss? Thank you. Look at that collision rules in. Kajo? Behind you, behind you, Kajo, Kajo! Burned horror. So, what are they? Are these people that were in the last. And boots again. Were they saved from whatever killed everyone with fire last time? Because they had partial armor? Do I need to survive it with the armor or is that just for going exploring? Am I overthinking? Probably. It's another one I think. If it makes an undead sound, it's usually an undead. Regular. So Dwarven armor used to be very, very shiny stuff. And because it's thousands of years old, it no longer is. Am I understanding this correctly? Possibly. Quite nicely exploring with a torch. Just nothing but ruined books. Okay, is this where he was talking about? He said there was a thing with power, didn't he? Like people running away. All trying to run away from this room. Makes you wonder why. Okay, there's a... He's watching, he's got the blue eyes. The myth of the dwarves' law. The myth of the dwarves' law by Dorotas... Dorotas... Too. As per our custom, I will begin by paying my respects to the Rib City's founders, the Dwormer, for their architecture and ingenuity, ubiquitous fonts of light and water, they deserve our admiration. But here I must depart from our custom. For their attempts at lawmaking, oppressive and overreaching, they deserve our contempt. Who among us has not awoken at night in a cold sweat? fearing some sort of accidental transgression of the Dwarves' law. All of us must accept, even after a moment's reflection on human nature, that we are all capable of error, whether from a momentary lapse in judgment brought on by ill temper, or a conscious decision based on faulty reason. But I am here today to tell you, friends and neighbours, that you need not be afraid. For the Dwarves' law is a great deception, and I... We'll prove it to you. Oh god, and then everyone died. Brilliant. Let me begin by dismissing each of the counter arguments you may raise. First, you argue the dwarven inscriptions around the city are evidence of the law. But that is logically unsound, for we cannot complete, be completely confident that our translations are accurate. With all due respect to our scholars, we believe, they say, many will suffer for one's mistakes. 
Okay, slightly different take on it there. But what shades of meaning are lost in translation? In any case, even if our translation is accurate, that this message was inscribed does not make it true. Also true. But you're dead, which kind of does make it true. Second, you may argue the dwarves would not have committed their warnings to stone if they were not true. Possibly. To that I say the dwarves' warning may well have been true thousands of years ago when their city was when they built this city. Presumably, these were those responsible for enforcing the law who were vigilant and draconic in their pursuit of order, but the dwarves have long since disappeared. Surely, for the laws to be enforced, there would need to be something watching over us. I know many of you have felt as if you are being watched, as if these golden bursts were somehow or busts were somehow capable of seeing you. But ask yourself, even if these dwarven automatons were watching you, how could they play the role of judge? Surely no mere machine possesses the reason or the judgment necessary to enforce the laws of man. In short, without the instructions of justice, there can be no law. No oh, instruments of justice. Third, you may argue that the tragedy that struck this city several years ago is evidence that the dwarves' law is real. You need not remind me of that. I was who discovered their charred remains. It was I who collected them, placed them in a handcart, and wheeled them into this place and laid them to rest in the tomb beneath us. I will not soon forget them, and yet I refuse to leap to the conclusion that their deaths were brought by breaking the dwarves' law. There is simply no evidence to support that conclusion. I think the bloody is. Who is to say there was not simply an attack by some demented mage skilled in the art of destruction magic? But ultimately, these arguments are just that. Arguments. After years of living in fear, there is only one way for me to prove to you the dwarves' law is a falsehood. Action. Friends, I apologise in advance for this, but one day you will see this moment as a turning point in our people's history. Let us see once and for all that it was dwarves lore is real as I strike one of you with my fist. Are oh, you idiot? And there's nothing else written because you got everybody killed. You numpty. They were watching all right. Nothing but ruined books Probably because of that guy getting everybody killed. This is just people trying to get out of here, isn't it? Pouring out. And here are the miraculous arrows that missed that guy around the corner. Explain how that works. Those things spring into life, if you ask me. What's on this side of the room? Okay, more display cases. Probably there is a temptation. We should ignore them. Unlocking doors, however. Okay, we've got a spider somewhere, I'm thinking. There is more to this place than meets the eye. Oh god. Doesn't matter how many times I find one. I'm never pleased to see it. More locks. So did the Necromancer who came in here. There's another one watching there. Did he. I'm not hearing any, but I suspect we have something in here. Not sure what. Okay, looting from corpses is not against the law. Even when they've got plants growing out of them. Little off. So this was their... 
Oh god, looks like somebody was barricading themselves here. Lots of big heavy objects. And I think a ballista. There. A very big one. And a light source above. Narabas's journal. Ah, this was the guy that came in here, wasn't it? These are the last words of I, Narabas the Great, the most powerful necromancer who ever lived. Oh god, this is not going to end well. By tapping into the strange energy in this place, I have achieved what no other necromancer in history has ever de dreamed. A mass resurrection. Two dozen corpses, maybe more, brought to life by a single spell. Consider of, for a moment, the raw, terrifying power in that. This is always the way with mages and necros. Such a power that my greatest achievement... Oh, such is my power that my greatest achievement, transcending even my own wildest expectations, has forced me into this corner. You may ask what kind of summoner cannot even summon the courage to leap from a balcony into the lake below. Afraid of heights I may be, but you will never find a man calmer to face death than I, for it is only in death that I may perform the greatest ever feat, self-resurrection. I can hear my dark beauties coming for me, clamouring on the final locked gate, determined that I joined them on the other side. It is time I joined them. Narabas the Great. P.S. Look behind you. Okay. Oh, okay, you're undead and I need to stand up. Thank you, Garjo. You got... Oh, we got him. Master robes of conjuration. Valuable. Not likely to wear them. Was that it? Was that him? What did he have? Orcish. Okay. Strange green leaves. Very bright green leaves. Probably best we don't know, Kaja. So, he came in, he barricaded himself inside here. To no avail, he ended up dying anyway. And if we empty... That goes back out to the city. So... We were going past the other end of this room, were we not? I guess maybe I'm not the first person. Is that a gate moving? Okay, we've got another gate, but I don't think this leads very far. The Forgotten City again, okay. And that looks like somewhere one of those things would have been. There's blood on the wall, right in front of the ballista there. But don't the undead not bleed? What the hell was running towards him when he was firing? It's loaded anyway. Sat in the chair with the ballista and decided he'd let himself die. Sort of sounds a little odd to me, that. Just a bit. Okay, Kaju. Show the book to Brawl. Yes, good plan. Obtain Immaculate Dwarmer from Rikus. We'll try. Talk to Habik about his missing ring. We will. And we need to go and do these. Quintas. Quintas, was he in that journal? Um, is this an arrival lock? Quintas, is he in here? All in quarters, house and his own. Notes, pushover, unproductive since loss of wife. Macy, quarters, city, house and lower circle. What's his wife, isn't it? Missing, sign roll, citadel cleaner. Notes, potential with an apostrophe. That's a little worrying. She's the only one with potential. Right there, Ismar. Good worker, no potential. Miranda, dissenter, potential. Only the women are potentials? For what exactly? Dalgand, trustworthy. Rikus, aggressive, knows he's being watched, believes statues may come alive. Paranoid? Not really. 
City Guard self-appointed. Brandas. Yeah, poor sod. Landris, deceased. Marius, quarters, citadel, lower floor. Room four, assigned role, none. Refused all roles. Seen wandering the city at night. Watch. Marius, okay. Altrius. Northwest Chambers. Trespassed in my lake house. What's he doing in there? Okay. Interesting. So, this is back out to the Forgotten City. Okay, so we can't climb back over the way we got in, so I'm guessing I've got to jump into the lake. Can I do that? Yeah, if I... Oh my god! Oof! I thought I'd done it wrong. I thought I was going in the drink. Kajo, you'll have to figure it out for yourself, I'm afraid. Yes, you will. Now, there was also the old guy, wasn't there, near the... Had his own little tent, etc. Gone a bit mad. I wonder if he's over there somewhere. Maybe talk to him. Where was... Where did we come in? It was via the... Was it the lake house? No, we entered through the... He's over there, isn't he? Okay, we'll go across, but we're not going back in that lake house. Oh, there are people watching me, but okay. I think it matters. What's he over here? Yeah, this is him. Hello, Dooley. Oh, uh, hello. I, I wasn't following you. Well, no, I walked over here. What's your story? My, what? My, my story? Yeah. Oh, do you want to hear about me? I'm sorry, but my memory's not very good. I only remember some things. I, um, I came here with my brother, Harrible. He used to look after me, and he said he always would, but then he died. Now, nobody looks after me. I, I'm not very good at remembering things. Sometimes I forget, so I need help. That's why I need some help finding Harrible's treasure. Okay, what are, what are you looking for? Well, my brother told me, before he died, that he had left me something very precious in a secret chest. He hid it away just for me. I've asked the others for help, but they don't help me. The Yard even wrote me this letter, but I'm not very good with words. Here, do you... Do you think you can read it for me? Tell me what, what it says. Read the letter, okay. Um, letter from the Jarl to Dooley. Dear Dooley, I'm writing to you in relation to your continual requests for assistance finding your brother's hidden chest, containing so-called fortune. While I am sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your brother some years ago, I wish to impress upon you the important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. It is not my place to speculate, uh, speculate about whether your brother might have misled you or whether you simply misremembered his words to you. I do not propose to discuss this with you again. Further, as I have had quite a few complaints from your neighbours about you bothering them, I must ask that you stop this behaviour immediately. He seems awfully sure that there's no treasure. I, I'm i not trusting this Jarl, you know. Well, what does it say? I read your letter. You did? Oh, thank you. What does it say? 
Uh, the Jarl says there's no fortune and you should stop going on about it. I... what? No, that can't be right. I don't think it is either. He, he told me. He told me he, he left me a fortune. He would lie to me. Why would he lie to me? You'll help me, won't you? You'll help me find it, P please. You know what? I believe him. He doesn't remember things, but he does remember that. I believe you. I'll help you look for it. Thank you. All I know is that it's hiding somewhere in the city. Cause you'll leave Dooley I alone. I leave this rusty key. My brother gave it to me to unlock it. Okay. Did your brother tell you anything about where it's hidden? Key's a bit more than taking his word for it, surely. I... I... <coughs> I, I can't. I, sorry. I don't remember things so good. But he said it was hidden under the ground and that I have to hold my breath. That's all I remember. Okay. Do you know a way out of here, Dooley? A way out? Oh, no. I, I can't leave. I need to find Haribo's treasure first. Okay, I'll be going. Oh. All right. I I do believe him, Kajo. I really do. I, I, well, he believes it anyway. He said I was somewhere in a cave, and nothing new in here, is there? There was that misty thing on the front. Okay, that's now gone. There was the letter here we showed to the Jarl. Nothing we want from there. Is there one of those faces in here? There is. Okay, don't misbehave in here. Wherever there's one of those faces, someone's watching. Who is the guy at the end of that pier? What's he doing there? Is he Quintus? Is that who he's talking about? Could be anyone. Mm, I don't think it is. Vernon! Hey! I hear you dealt with those looters swiftly. Great work. Do you know of a way out of here? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I'll tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the dwarves' law. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyways. What can you tell me about the Dwarves' Law? The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That's about all I know. You should go and talk to Brawl in his chambers if you want to know more. Yeah, we kind of did. All right, I'll be going. Well... Come on back any time you like. I will, and you, Gaia. No, oh, hello there. Oh, I, I spoke to you. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Ye yeah, not yet. We want to talk to. Who was it? Show the book to Bo Brawl. Yes, we're going to do that. We need to talk to him about the missing ring. Wasn't there something about somebody's missing wife? There was, wasn't there? Vernon's house. Right. Will it be stealing? If he is asleep and he's left it somewhere. Not in here, is it? One of those things in here. Yeah, it's there. Nobody locks their doors. I'm guessing because nobody is ever going to break the law. Yeah. Little guarded back area. 
nothing of actual use. Ismars, no. You were here. We talked. Ulrin's house. Let's see if we can talk to him about his wife. He's not here. No. What am I missing in here that doesn't involve stealing? The door there. Underground tunnels, Kajo. Okay. Kajo, have you f not followed? Ooh, there's bloody bones in here. the underground path they were talking about? Should I be conserving arrows? Just in case there is something a little more nasty. Okay, what the hell is this? Well, I can see a corpse down there. Okay. There's something a little bit more than meets the eye down here. Daedric arrows, thank you very much. Let's go this way. First. Stealing, we're okay. Search Skeever's nest. I've never had that before. Oh, ring. Ah, interesting. Well, why didn't he come and get that himself? Ah. Need to find a key somewhere in here. Or elsewhere. It's not just going around in a circle. Feels like I just did a 180 there. Yeah, we just did a 180. I say we, Kaja was declined to come along. So, steps there and... Oh, this is cosy, isn't it? Honest trader requires key. Okay. Take the healing po- Oh god, that wasn't- No, it wasn't stealing. <clears throat> Had a tick by it. Does that mean I don't have it or I've already looted it? Scholar. Okay, I haven't found the key for this place, wherever it may be. I do not have it. Seems to be blood everywhere. Where have I not been then? I was looking through a room. So was it? robes blood up the walls hay pile sleep Vernon's fresh produce what have you been up to Vernon why is there 
blood everywhere down here. If it has anything to do with him at all, I don't know. Okay, and we've been past that. I think this is a big circle, is it not? Um, this is where we came in. I think. Let's take a little look further around here. Have I been down this one? Empty wine bottle. That could be telling. The lighting would behave. I've been down here with the blood. Getting a little... I remember that. Blood, blood. Tree thing. That was the... whatever that was. Like a card game. So somebody knew how to get down here. But... Who? Brawl the Scholar. So that's right near the chambers we now have. this will just say chambers meaning mine and I don't have a key to get back well, she said she might have been someone for the rumors and such but yeah Lucas chambers makes sense Went by the human remains in the underground tunnels. There's not much to go on there. I mean, she's picked clean, whoever it is. He or she or... I'm guessing that's... who it is. Search this, no? Okay, this is like oh god. How am I gonna identify the remains exactly? Oh my god. Oh, giant skeever. That's a Bloody enormous skeever! The hell? Engraved gold name. The pendant is engraved with the words "Love Ulrin." Underground tunnels key. Ah, ha, ha, ha. she had a key, even though she didn't actually need it. That's Luki's. God, Kajo! Scared me to death. Okay, that must have... So, am I? Yeah, I thought I did. Okay, so, journal. Show Ulrin the necklace from the underground tunnels. So we're pretty sure it's... There's... I think it's one o'clock in the morning. Does he really want this now? Probably not, Kajo. Probably not. Let's uh, let's turn in for you the are night. Taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Uh, we'll go to the tavern tomorrow night, I think. Look at me like that. Yeah, we will. We'll. 
I mean, one o'clock in the morning, do you really want someone turning up at your door saying, Hello, I've found your wife's remains in a tunnel underneath here. So, yeah, and apparently I found somebody's ring as well, though quite how it came... Oh, that's going to do my head in. We've got to go and ask him, Carjo. How did it... How did his ring get into the tunnel? Did she steal it? Surely not. You can't. You steal anything, you hit anyone, kill anyone. These things fire up and all hell breaks loose. Who's this guy? Just out for an evening stroll. Not a soul stirring. Quiet as the grave. Hmm. You know a way out of this? Yes, I do. Death. Death is the only way out of here. I'll be going. You do that. What are you hiding? Marius's key. Key to what, I wonder? Is Mars house? Watching me, he's watching me. Oh look, no, let, we'll tell him in the morning. Where was their house anyway? In the middle, okay. It's either this one. Nope. Ah, here we go. We can give him the ring, but I kind of want to know what the story is about why the ring is here. Oh, they could be at the tavern. Miranda told me you cut down those looters before they breached the city gates. Well and done, my friend. In what, what are you doing? Hello there. Um, about your missing ring. Ah, you saw my notice then. Yes, yeah, so that's why I'm here at one o'clock in the morning. It? Um, I'd like to help. Any idea where I should start looking? Yeah, let's just plug in for a bit of information first. Thank you. The ring belonged to my son, Limar. Oh, yeah. He wore it everywhere. He told me it was a gift from a strange wood elf he met in the forest once. It was the only thing I had to remind me of him. We travel but a while ago, I dropped it down the stairs in my shop, and it rolled under a door at the bottom. The trouble is, I've never been able to unlock the door, or work out what's down there. But I'm sure it's possible, because I hear noises down there. So I'll bet that somebody, somewhere in the city, knows a way down there. And who knows what else you'll find once you get in. Hmm. About your missing yes. ring. Have you found it? Um, yes. That's it. Oh, thank you. I know it's only a ring, but it feels like I've got part of my son back. It's a good feeling. You're welcome. Now, I know I promised you a reward. You didn't really so need to give me anything. something for your troubles. Thanks again. Okay. Okay. See you again soon, I hope. Can't you? We can't stay in here. Come on, he's going to get annoyed, and if they get annoyed, then all hell will break loose, and you know it. Okay, this was the Sentinel Tavern. Let's check in here. Maybe um, Ulrin's in here getting very, very drunk. Possibly. Possibly there's not anybody in here. No, Kajo, I think there is nobody in here. Which does beg the question. <laughs> nobody dares steal anything from the tavern at night. I'm guessing. Uh, no. Um, where did I... Do we want to go and tell him this at the middle of the night? I mean... This was was this their store? Something finery? 
Yes, that was it. So, he said it rolled down the door. Ah, it is as well. Okay, well, that could be a perfectly, you know, honest story. And then, of course, empty Skeever's nest that we could never have found until we came down here, but the whole thing is very, very odd, Kajou. Got your back. Very odd. If anyone sneaks up on us, to everybody's I house think. through here. Or I might not. Almost seems like you can. Or quite a few of the places. And those roots underneath, they're the roots of this tree. So, he's still wandering around. Let's follow him, Kaja. Just want to see where he's going. I mean, we're hardly camouflaged here, are we? But where does he go? I am curious, you know. Now, have I left anything on red in here? Hmm, I think so. But there's something about him that's actually familiar. There is. We check all of those. You know the guys, the looters that came in? Why did that not count as breaking the law? You know, me coming in and killing them all. Seems slightly odd somehow. Are all their bodies gone? They are. Yeah, we're not getting up there, Kojo. Well, even if we went back to back with legs outward to the walls, I'd I don't think it would work. Was that body there when we came in? I hope you will find a walk. Welcome in your travels. It wasn't, was it? That's a little odd. Why has his body suddenly reappeared? What about the others? Are they all Can I loot everything off them? One of those heads here, but it didn't mind me killing the looters. I was hidden at the time. So I don't know. Just seems a little odd. So now my brain's racing away with various ideas and I'm starting to think, well... Maybe we're overthinking everything. Where's the guy? He was strolling off down here. Is he still strolling off? Yes, what's he doing exactly? Just out for an evening stroll. Not a soul stirring. He's looking Quite in this house. He had a key on him. Why does he need a key? Is that place locked? No! Sunken house. What have we got here? Oh, that's a door. Oh, I unlocked it. Um, is there any air in here? Oh god, uh, I should have with me if I've remembered. No, no, um, amulet. Is it an amulet or a necklace? I think it was a necklace. There you go. 
Make myself water breathing. Kaju, if you followed, you're going to have a very bad time. So I opened that with Dooley's key, I think. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's a regular one. I think we might find more of the immaculate armour down here. Is that Kaju swimming above me? Maybe not. So is this where Dooley's treasure is? What am I looking for a chest? Was air that way? Air is always good. Follow. Okay, fishing line. Dwemer bits and pieces. Okay, who are you? You've got Dwemer armor, but you've got a armor. Who are you guys? Are you friendly? Hello? Um... Are you... Stop right there! What is this one doing here? Uh, I'm Kevan. I'm looking for a treasure chest. Ah, the locked chest. Yes, we have it, but have been unable to open it. Why don't you come in and join us for dinner? Um... <clears throat> You're obviously planning to eat me. Try it, I dare you. Um, I have some questions first. Very well, but hurry. We are hungry. What are you doing here? We are explorers like you. We were exploring the bottom of a great mine when we found this cave. Oh, is this a way out? But just as we found it, oh. the earth shook and the mine collapsed behind us. This is our home now. We are... Pleased to see someone in the flesh. What can you tell me about the chest? We found it in the water down below, but we could not unlock it, so we dragged it up here. It is locked away in the lonely tower. Okay, and um, who is we? My siblings and I. Don't worry, we will all share in your company. Okay. How long have you been down here? So curious this one is. We have been here for years, surviving on fish and this wondrous mushroom, and whatever else we can scrounge up. I see. That's all the question. We are oh. explorer, but just as we found it. The earth shook and the mine collapsed behind us. That's all the this questions I had. Good. This one asks many questions. Now, let us eat. Hmm? You're obviously planning to in to try and eat me. I dare you. It knows it is smart and savage, this one. Perhaps, perhaps it is safer for us to eat mushrooms again tonight. But no meat for us means no chest for you. It stays locked up tight in our tower. Uh, I think not. One, two... Human remains. They're gonna come in after me, I know it. If they saw me, that is. You? Oh, God. Harrible's chest. Citadel key. 
Letter from Harrible to Dooley. Dresser. Do I have a pan? Various books does this... Oh God. Does this do what the other rooms do? Lay down to a door. Major archery, gold ore. Was this what he came down here for, with? Oh, we're not going that way. So yeah, they... Pretty much it's certain they eat people. I'm just wondering how best to deal with them. I mean, I didn't need a key to get in there. I mean, that's stealing. And they've been eating that and people. Is this the mine you were exploring? And it collapsed in on you. I wonder if we can dig through. Hello? Not talkative. No, there's gonna be something up there though. Hi. She's gonna freak out, she's gonna freak out. No, just stuff. Why the in theory, you should not be able to see a damn thing. I can't have a vision. What is it? Um, nothing. You just carry on. You're not eating me. No, you're not. Okay, I want to get this back to Dooley. Let's have a look at the letter. Item from Handled, Dooley. Dear Dooley, if you're reading this or having someone you trust read it to you, it means I'm dead. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to look after you anymore. I want you to really try hard to remember something important. Jarl Metellius cannot be trusted. After leaving you this note, I am going to confront him about what he has been doing in the locked room of his citadel. If I do not return, it is probably because he killed me. With this note, you will find a key to the Jarl's locked room. You'll have to find someone with a good heart and a good head. You always wear a better judge of character than me. They'll know what to do. Your brother? Horrible. Okay, what the hell is in this locked room? And do I really want to know? 